Hello and welcome to Government Class. In today's Government Class, we'll be looking at some of the constitutional conferences that led to the adoption of Nigerian federalism. There were majorly two constitutional conferences that took place before the final adoption of federalism in Nigeria. And it took place from L. There were majorly two conferences two constitutional conferences held before the final adoption of federalism in Nigeria, which took place from 1st of October 1954. The conferences were the London Constitutional Conference of 1953 and the Lagos Conference of 1954. The London Constitutional Conference of 1953. The London Constitutional Conference was held in London between, January, between July 30 and August 22, 1953, to take certain decisions concerning the adoption of federalism in Nigeria as it was moved by Sir Olivin, Olivia Lintintin, who was the then Secretary of State for the Colonies. The Secretary of State for the Colonies, Olivia Lintintin, announced on the, on the 21st of May 1953, on the floor of the British House of Commons, the change from the Marquess's Constitution of 1951 after acknowledging the deficiencies of the constitution in ensuring effective administration of the country under the northern, the eastern, and the western region. So these were some of the um, issues that came up in the London Constitutional Conference. The fact that um, it's, it acknowledged the deficiencies in Macpherson's constitution, that Macpherson's constitution was not effective enough in the administration of the country under the three provinces, which were the northern, the western, and the eastern region and the change from the Macpherson's constitution to the Littleton's constitution. The decision was reached so as to ensure greater regional autonomy and to remove the powers of intervention by the federal government or the central government. According to Sir Oliver Littleton in May 1953, Her Majesty's government our Majesty's government had decided that the Nigerian constitution would have to be redrawn so as to provide for greater regional autonomy and for removal of powers of intervention by the federal or the central government. So some of the decisions that were reached at the constitutional conference was to redraft a constitution, was to redraw a constitution that would provide for greater regional autonomy of the regions and that would remove the power of intervention of the central government from the region so that the central government would not be able to interfere or intervene in the affairs of the regional government. These are some of the decisions that were reached um, at the London Constitutional Conference to change the, to redraw the, the constitution of Nigeria to change from the Macpherson's constitution to a constitution that would provide for greater regional autonomy and that would remove the powers of intervention of the federal government from the regional government from the regional government. To set up the constitution, to set up the constitution drafting committees, to set up the constitution drafting committee, Nigerian leaders were invited to London by the Secretary of State for Colonies for effective reviewing of the constitution. To to draft this constitution, Nigerian leaders were invited to London. They sat together with um, the Secretary of State for Colonies and then they reviewed the constitution to ensure that the constitution was, there was no deficiency in this constitution to ensure that the, it, it had great, it provided for the um, regional governments to be able to legislate, to ensure that it provided for regional governments to be able to legislate and um, implement policies and to remove the powers of intervention from the center. So they sat down together to make sure that this new constitution was all inclusive. A team of 19 delegates were sent to London, which consisted six representatives from each of the three regions and one delegate from Southern Cameroon. So six, six, six from the Northern, from the Western and from the Eastern region, and then one delegate from Cameroon, from Southern Cameroon, making it 19 delegates were sent to London to draft this constitution. The conference was held between the 30th of July and the 22nd of August in 1953, and the following agreements were reached. That a federal system of government in which the functions of the federal government would be spell, should be spelled out and residual powers vested in the regional government should be established. This was one of the agreements that were reached, the introduction of a federal system of government whereby the federal government 
power should be spelled out clearly in the constitution and the residual powers that is the powers to legislate in the, um, in the regions should be vested in the regional government. The legislative powers should be shared between the federal and the federating unit. The federating units can also be called the regional states. As at 1953, it was called region. Now, in 2022, it is called states. So the legislative power was to be shared between the federal and the federating units. Now, there are legislative powers that are solely for the federal government and solely for the regional government. And there are some that are for both the regional government and the federal government. We call this concurrent. So this, um, these are powers listed in the concurrent list. They are powers that both the federal government and the state governments can legislate on. The next agreement that was made was that there should be creation of effective central house of, of representatives to make law for the country and regional houses of assemblies of assembly to make law for the region. So there was to be a creation of the central house of, of representatives that is the lawmaking arm for the country as a whole, for the federal government, and then regional houses of assembly, the lawmaking arm for the regions on their own so that the regions can make laws that suit them without the federal government interfering or intervening. Another agreement that was reached was that the, each of the lieutenant gov governors should be called governors and the governor of the country should be called the governor general. So that was also one of the agreements that was reached at the 1953 London Constitutional Conference that the office of the regional lieutenant governor should be changed to the um, office of governors. So they were no longer called re regional lieutenant governors, they were now called regional governors or governors. And the governor of the country would be called, should be called the governor general. So the governor of the country was now called governor general. Another um, agreement that was met, that was that was reached was that Lagos should be separated from the Western region and be made the federal capital territory of the country. So this was also one of the agreements that was reached at the 1953 London Constitutional Conference that Lagos should be separated from the Western region and be made the federal capital territory of the country. Before then, McPherson's constitution joined Lagos with the Western region so that they would be administered together as a region. But under this new constitution, Lagos was separated from the Western region. That a separate regional administration should be established in the Cameroon, in the Cameroon for the Cameroon subject of um, to the ratification of the conference to be held in Lagos in 1954, if the people living in the territory would actually support the move through a referendum. Also, another agreement that was reached was that there should be a separate regional administration established for Southern Cameroon, and that um, this. This um, regional administration was subject to ratification in another conference that was going to be that was held in Lagos in 1954. And we we'll still look at this, um, the Lagos conference, the Lagos conference of 1954. We we'll still look at that, and that, and that they would, and this was um, one of the agreements that was reached to at the London Constitutional Conference. Also, that in 1956, Her Majesty's British government would grant would grant self government to any region which so desires it. So that another agreement that was reached was that Her Majesty would grant self-government to any region that so deserves it in 1956. And with this, we've come to the end of the class. In the course of this class, we looked at um, the London Constitutional Conference of 1953 and some of the agreements that were reached at this Constitutional Conference. In the next class, we'll be looking at the Lagos Conference of 1954. And I'll see you at the next class.